Hi everybody, happy Friday. Today is April 3rd, 2009, and our model today is uh, called a Lazy Susan, and uh, looks a little more complicated than what we've been doing the past week or so. So why don't we go ahead, get our regular origami paper together, that's what we're using today, and we'll get started on this one. All right then, to uh, start this one off, you're going to start with your paper with the colored side facing up. And you're going to do a bunch of guideline folds, uh, creases. First, folding your piece in half in both directions on the diagonal. And then folding your piece in half in both directions horizontally and vertically. So once you open it up, you'll have uh, folds and creases, and it'll look like this. When you do those uh, creases, when you make those creases, what you end up with, you establish a center point right here. And the next set of folds, you're going to fold each corner to that center section. So take each corner and fold it to that center point. So that your piece will look like this. Now you're going to take each point and fold it backwards to the edge of the piece. Do that in, on each one. So that your piece will look like this. And each one of these is directly to the edge. It does not overlap in any way. It's right up to the edge. And then you're going to flip it over to prepare for the next set of folds. Now if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I don't think that's what she was wearing two seconds ago. You would be very observant. And the reason that this is not what I was wearing two seconds ago is because this is not two seconds later. This is a day later. And I will uh, confess to you that as I was doing this video yesterday, um, I got to the next few steps and was totally stumped. I could not, for the life of me, figure out what the heck they wanted me to do. I just couldn't get it, I couldn't get it to work. So, uh, I took a step back and uh, there I was in bed, literally, yes I was in bed last night before going to sleep, still with my little piece of origami paper and Eureka, I finally figured out what it is that I was supposed, I was supposed to do to make this thing work. So uh, I am nothing if not persistent and uh, here I am back to finish it. And yes, I suppose I could have just started back over at the beginning and made it seem like I was wonderful and, and could just get this no problem, but I wanted to be realistic and let you know that, you know, if you've got this calendar yourself um, and you've struggled a little bit trying to figure out what the heck they were trying to get us to do, I was right there with you. Um, so we're back on track and we're gonna move forward from here. Uh, when we last left, when we last left Mimi and her origami lazy Susan, you had your piece of paper and it folded, it was looked like this and then you had flipped it over uh, to continue. The next folds that you're going to do, which are not the difficult ones, you're going to fold to the center line, first in one direction, and then in the other direction. Open it back up and flip it back over. And here is where things got tricky. So here's the instructions that totally confounded me for quite a while. And this is what you're going to do. You have your piece of paper like this. You want to take two of the sides opposite each other and start to fold it first down 
like you were folding it over like this, and then push in here and here. So you're pushing in. So the top of it's gonna kinda look, oops, gonna kinda, it is gonna look like this. At the same time that you're doing that, you're gonna start folding these down. And you'll have to sort of create these creases on these far ends here, because they are not naturally there. So you're pushing in here and then flattening down that way. Now I'm going to do it again for you. You're folding two sides over and, and then pushing in so that it, it's going to, as you can see, bend up like that. And at the same time then, the opposite corners, you're going to start folding down and pop out here. See how it's kind of stuck there? You'll have to push it out so that when you're done, your piece looks like this. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to take each one of these points here and reverse them inside. So if I hold it like this, you can see you're pushing it, you're pushing it in and flipping it all the way over. Here it is. Push it in all the way inside. Same on these two. Sort of open it up. Push it in all the way in, all the way inside. Like that. Open, push it in all the way inside. So that now it will look like this. And now you're going to create the Lazy Susan effect. And if you take the piece now and and open it up like this the pieces here the little folds here are what you're going to be opening up our end result is going to look like this this is what we're shooting for okay so what you've got to do is open up each one of these little pockets all the way around open it up like that. Flip it. Open it up like that. Turn it and open it up. <laughs> and that, that's the basic idea. And then what you'll, you'll need to do is to spend some time, once you've done that, sort of evening out, evening out the bottoms, making these folds here, nice and crisp. And as I said, once you've done that, this is what it will look like. Trade out just like on the, the cooking show. This is what it'll look like. And it would sit on the table. And I, you know, Lazy Susan implies that it spins around. It doesn't really spin around, but it does look kind of like a Lazy Susan you'd put in the middle of your table and you could put little things in, in these pockets. So there you have it. A lot of work and energy went into this Lazy Susan for, I don't know how much return. I guess it's kind of cute, but jeez, <laughs> this one was a rough one. Not good on a Friday. I don't think they should like, you know, give us the, the hard ones on the Friday. Give us those easy, stupid fold over the post-it note in half and that's our whole entire thing on Friday. Let me work for it earlier in the week. So at any rate, there you have it. Uh, I don't have anything for you for the rest of the weekend. So uh, sorry this one wind up coming up late, but at least you got it. And uh, I will see you back here on Monday then. Have, have a great weekend and enjoy your days off and I'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye.